Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about a slightly difficult topic called the arc length function. So arc length function. When people first see this, uh, they sometimes find it uh, confusing, but it's really uh, not that bad. So here's the idea. So we have C, and this is a smooth curve. So smooth curve given by a vector valued function, so given by r of t on say some interval a, b. So t runs from from a to b. And then for t uh, in a, b, we're going to define uh, the following function. So s of t is going to be equal to the definite integral from a to t of the magnitude of r prime of say u du. Right? I can't use t. Normally we use t here inside the integration, but notice t is our upper limit of integration. So this this guy here, this is called the arc length function. So arc length function. And this is an important thing uh, that we need for what we're doing later. So it's kind of like a necessary uh, construction. So let's talk about it and let's talk about why it's important and what it means. So a couple remarks. So remarks. So the first remark uh, is what it actually is. So it is the arc length, arc length from, well, it's from A to T. So it's from the point parentheses X of A, comma Y of A, comma Z of A to the other point, which would be X of T, comma Y of T, comma Z of T. So it's the arc length uh, from that point uh, to that point. Note t, note t varies, right? So um, you can have a really tiny, tiny little piece. Uh, two, S has a name. Okay, people call it the arc length parameter. So arc length parameter. So arc length parameter. So if you see arc length parameter, parameter, just know it's basically the arc length function. Okay, it's the same, it's the same thing the same thing. Three, we can take the derivative of s with respect to t and using the second fundamental theorem of calculus, I'm not sure if you remember this, but when you have something like this, you just take the t and you plug it in for the u. So this is going to be equal to the magnitude of r prime of t. This is by the second fundamental theorem of calculus, so by second FTC. Right, it's the second fundamental theorem. It's probably been a while since you've seen that. Um, so, for example, say we have d dt. Let me do a, a, an unassociated example here. Uh, from 2 to t of sine to the seventh of x dx. When you're taking this derivative, what you do is you just take the t and you put it where the x is. So this is going to be sine to the seventh of t. Right. That's the second FTC, right, second FTC. Note we can solve this for ds if you wanted to by multiplying by dt. So in other words, we're writing it in what's called differential notation. So we could write it um, like this. So it just could be beneficial to know that you can write it that way. So what is this for? Well, here's the kicker. So um, we can write it, we can, we can rewrite things as follows. So we can write r as a function of s, right? And that would be x of s, i hat, plus y of s, j hat, plus z of s, k hat. You might say, what in the world are we doing and why would we do this? Well, now we have our vector value function defined in terms of s instead of t. So uh, we know where we are on the graph after we travel a distance of s. Again we know where we are on the graph after we travel a distance of s. So let's say that this yellow distance is s here. So after we travel s, 
uh, from here to here, uh, we know where we are, right? Because R of S uh, gives us that, that point. So it lets us parameterize uh, our curve in terms of the arc length. Because normally it was parameterized in terms of t, which is usually time. So as time passes, you're traveling along the curve. So where are you at you know, t seconds? So now we can describe where we are on the curve after we move a little bit of distance on the curve. And since it's a curve, distance is defined by arc length. So the natural thing to do is to define r in terms of the, the arc length. So uh, that, that's what it's for. It's also used to define curvature, uh, which we'll define um, next. Um, so note something else. Uh, if you take the derivative of r, uh, r prime of s, and you take the magnitude uh, using the formula above, right, using this one here, we just get ds ds. So that cancels, so we just get 1, right? So this derivative here, this magnitude of this derivative is always 1. So r prime is always uh, a unit, uh, a unit vector. Um, I think I'll, I'll stop this video here, and in the next video, um, we'll talk about uh, curvature a little bit. So it's going to be uh, a continuation of, of this video. We didn't do an actual problem in this video, but that's okay. This was just a, uh, one of those tough theory videos. That's it.